it was a case of 22 years old patient came with two different lesions. First, it was tinea corporis, also known as ringworm, and the second one was pityriasis, also known as tinea versicolor. In this one, we describe the lesion as round, oval, with active erythematous margin. In the center of the same lesion, we describe it as central, clearing, and it is scaly. We asked the patient if it is itching or not, and he said that the lesion was not itchy, so it is not pruritic. And all of these features are typical characteristic of tinea corporis, also known as ringworm. We diagnose it by microscopic examination of potassium hydroxide, KOH, to look for hyphae. The management is the same as tinea pedis, which I have mentioned in full detail in the video of tinea pedis. I'm going to provide the link later on. The same patient came with different lesion and this one is described as white scaling and there is no round oval erythematous as tinea corporis. It is caused by Malathesia furfur, also known as Vitariosporum oval. It is associated with folliculitis and cyborg dermatitis. The management it is usually resolved on its own. If it is persistent, we use ketoconazole shampoo or cream PO every day for 7 days or topical ter terbanifen or cyclopyroxolamine and finally, if all of these following didn't work, we use systemic fluconazole or it itraconazole for 7 days as systemic. And this is a summary of the case that we talked about. Here we provide the link for tinea pedis and here I describe the full management and it is the same managed for tinea corporis. And thank you very much for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.